In today's reading from Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 6, The Ladder of Prayer. More on Manifesting. Hi, David. Since I began my journey back up the ladder, there are obviously things I do not understand. Hoping you can clarify something for me. To manifest something that you want, two things must be true. Number one, it must be what you really, really want. Number two, it needs to be in accordance with God's will because God wants for us what we really want. Right? Sometimes, though, I feel like I am really asking for what I want. But I still do not get it. Does this mean that I am not in touch with what I really want? Or is it really what I want and I just do not have the necessary faith to make it happen. I'm unclear about this. Beloved one, God's will is for perfect happiness. Though this is abstract and only forgiveness reflects God's will in this world. This prayer is for the big picture. The Holy Spirit gives nothing that would delay the awakening. Our will is universal and cannot be content with form of any kind. Yet, while one believes in lack, one's perceived needs are met by following the Holy Spirit and many whims, as such, are granted if they will not foster delay. When when you pray for our shared purpose to be experienced, this is helpful. Purpose is not specific. Prayers for specifics are requests that the past be repeated in some desired form. And the goal is to see that the past is gone. Specific prayers seem to be manifesting and yet symbols can only represent the desires of the heart. The secret of true prayer is to forget the things one thinks one needs. This is our gift to the Holy Spirit. Then everything that is helpful appears in awareness effortlessly. This is how prayer is meant to work in the truest sense until prayer returns to its formless state, a song of gratitude.